Hey, what's up guys? It's Jonathan Belcher here doing this training. Now, in this video, it's going to be very different than how I normally teach and train. Of course, we're here once again at the Whiteboard Chronicles. Just make sure to get used to my face because I have, I'm on a mission right now to serve and help people out there who are freedom fighters. So this is why you're going to be seeing my videos over and over again. And if you don't like it, great. If you love it, even better, right? So just make sure to watch this video to the end, very end because I'm going to be talking about something different, right? And this is probably going to shock you because I know I normally always talk about success in your business and how to achieve success and grow your business and take it to the next le level. But today what we're going to be talking about is failure, right? Failure, right? Failure. Why is this so important that we speak on about failure? It's because of failure why I know that success is possible for you. It's because of failure why I know that you can get to the lifestyle, whatever that lifestyle may be that you've been dreaming of, that you've been wanting. It's because of failure, right? It's because of my failure that I went through and that I was able to overcome that is why I know that it's possible for you and why you can live an extremely abundant and prosperous life, right? And you got to believe in yourself because when we analyze failure, right? The first question I have for you is, I'm not talking about failing like, you know, on a test or something like that. You may have failed in a test. I don't care what happened in the past. Maybe you didn't get good grades. That all doesn't matter, right? I've seen people who didn't get good grades. I've seen college dropouts. I've seen people who don't have a high school diploma become seven figures, become their own boss. So that doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter what walk of life you're coming from or what business you're doing. As long as you understand failure, you can definitely reach success. And the reason why I say that is because if you look at failure, right? What is failure? What, what's really failure when you think about it? Because to me... Failure is not until you've accepted the fact that you failed, right? Or you've accepted the fact that you're going to give up. Or you've accepted the fact that you're not good enough. Or you've accepted the fact that it's not possible for you. That's really what failure is, right? It's not, it's when you've made the decision like, oh, I quit. I can't do this. That's when you've really, really failed. But even for a person like me, right? It took me two to three months to make my first sale in my business, right? Two to three months to make my first sale. Guess what? In that whole time, if less than the three months, if I would have gave up before the two to three months, if I would have gave up before I made my first sale, then guess what? That would be failure, right? That would be failure because I accepted the fact that I said, look, this is not going to work for me. That's what failure is. But the thing is, I, didn't, I never accepted that, right? I always kept pushing. I always kept taking action. I always stayed focused. I always stayed my head in the training, my head in the education, right? And because of that, I was able to come out on top and have success and make my first sale. But if I would have accepted that, all right, two to three months is too, too much of a long time, this doesn't work, and I throw in the towel now, guess what? That's failure the minute you've accepted it to be failure. It doesn't matter if a person's 50 years old, 60 years old, 70 years old, 40 years old. There have been people who have went their whole life not knowing exactly what they want to do, not knowing what their, pur their purpose is or what they're passionate about. And then when they're 40 years old, they find something and boom, they're a millionaire. Boom, they're, they're inspiring the world. They're educating people. They're living a life of purpose. Why does that happen? Because they didn't accept failure. That's why it happens, right? So... The moral of this whole training video is to let you know that you're good enough. It's possible for you to succeed. And to be real with you, if you really, really want me to be honest with you, none of these businesses work. <laughs> none of these businesses work. None of them. No business out there works. You know what works? People work. People, is, people are who, we are the ones who give life to a business. It's not the business that works. The business doesn't grow legs, starts walking, starts talking, starts moving. It doesn't happen. The business is lifeless, right? It's us that gives life to a business. It's people that give life and value to anything. So really and truly at the end of the day, yeah, a business may come out and there may be a lot of hype around the business. There may be a lot of people talking about the business, but that doesn't mean the business itself works. It's the people that take advantage of the business model that work, right? And I know for me, I'm always providing training, right? Like I have a training system for both people in Herbalife and people in Motor Club of America. And if you look in the description, you can see both of those links to get access to those, right? Whichever one you're in, doesn't matter if you're in Herbalife, if you're in another company, you can look below and see how you can get access to that. But the whole thing I'm trying to say is that failure is when you've accepted the fact that it's not working for you and you throw in the towel. 
If a person has been working on something for, it doesn't even matter if they've been working for years on something, one year, two years, three years. Let's say somebody have been working to get the results they want for three years and they haven't gotten any results, right? But let's just say by the fourth year, right? Let's just say by the fourth year, they have a major breakthrough. Guess what? By the fourth year when they have a major breakthrough, they're successful. Nobody cares about the one through three years when they failed, when they weren't getting the results that they wanted. To be honest with you, nobody even sees that part. Nobody even sees when the guy or the girl is struggling trying to get to the top. The only thing we see is when the person is at the top, living their best life, getting all the results they want and they're crushing it. But we never see the time when the person was putting in the, hot, the sweat, blood and tears and the effort into growing their business. And the reason why that happens where a person can go one to three years, let's just say not having the results that they want in their business in the fourth year they're succeeding is because they never accepted failure. Right. And to be honest with you, if you really want to use the word failure, I don't really use the word failure because failure is like eternity. Right. It sounds like a word that means forever. But you may I don't think that most people, 95 percent of the people, what they think is failure is not really failure. It's not really failure. What most people go through and they think it's failure. And the reason why they do really fail is because they go through temporary defeat. Temporary defeat. Right. Temporary defeat. Meaning that you may be dealing with a roadblock in your business right now. You may be dealing with a roadblock in your life right now. But that situation is temporary, right? It's not something for you to make a decision on that it's failure and it can't come back to life and it can't, you can't re-innovate yourself, you can't reinvent or innovate or create, right? It doesn't mean that you're done for. That's what I'm trying to say. So you got to understand that most people, when they do quit, it's just they, they hit a bump in the road, right? They just hit a little obstacle. They had to jump a little hurdle when they quit. That's most people in business, to be honest with you. And that's what separates the very few who are successful and rich and, and financially free from the mass of people who are living mediocre lives, the people who are in debt, the people who are living paycheck to paycheck, the people who are struggling. And just because you're living paycheck to paycheck, there's nothing wrong with that. As long as you're doing what you want to do and you love what you do, I respect you. You're successful in my eyes. But what I'm trying to say is that know the difference between failure and temporary defeat. 95% of the stuff that you're going to encounter in your business is just going to be temporary defeat. And what, is, what, is it, what does it mean? Let's say I went out there and I went for two months straight and I was marketing my business and I didn't make any sales, right? Let's just say two months past my business, I made no sales. Now, what that means is that in that two months, what I should be focusing on is not quitting and not focusing on failure. What I should be focusing on is the feedback, feedback, because that's what you're going to get from your business. You're going to get feedback, right? For example, I know for me, let's just say I set up a capture page, right? A capture page for my business. And let's say I have an online sales presentation that does the selling and telling for me, right? And I provide that to you and I show you how to create your own capture page and your own sales presentation in either of the links below. In both of the training systems, I teach you how to do that. It depends on whatever business you're in, Herbalife or MCA. But let's just say I created a capture page, right? And let's just say I created a sales page. And let's just say that capture page, let's just say I got a thousand leads, a thousand subscribers through that capture page, right? Let's just say, for example, a thousand leads. Now that's data, right? That's feedback. That thousand leads is feedback. And let's just say now I got zero sales, a thousand leads in that, and now I have zero sales. I didn't make no money, but I have a thousand leads. Does that mean that there's something wrong? Like I'm a failure? No, that just means that, okay. I got a thousand leads, so that means that the capture page is great. The capture page is working well, right? That means like the capture page is working well. We could put a check mark next to the capture page. That's working fine because I got a thousand leads. But now let's say I have zero sales. What that means is that most likely there's something wrong with the sales presentation. The page that the person sees after they enter in their email, the capture page, that's all that's telling me. This piece of information, this data, a thousand leads and zero sales means that there's something wrong with my sales presentation, the page that people see after the capture page. Now I could either say, all right, I'm gonna give up. I didn't make any sales and that means I'm a failure. Or I can say, well, I got a thousand leads. So I have to tweak what's messed up, which is just the sales presentation in this case, because I got the data right here, right? The data, this is feedback. But if I would have looked at the money and said, I don't make, I haven't made any sales. What am I going to say? This business is a scam. This business doesn't work. Uh, my sponsor lied to me, right? I'm not good enough. I'm a failure. All of these false things, that's not true. 
You're a success. You're powerful. You can accomplish whatever it is you want to accomplish as long as you understand the difference between temporary defeat and failure, right? Because everybody has their struggles. Everybody has their, you know, their, 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 their period when they're trying to learn, they're trying to build. And everybody's going to go through that. But if you can't recognize the difference between failure and temporary defeat, you're going to throw in the towel way sooner than you're supposed to. And you're never going to know what you're really good at. So this is a prime example of this. If I got 1,000 leads and zero sales, well, then now it's time to tweak the sales presentation. What that, what that can mean is maybe the sales presentation, the copy isn't congruent with the capture page, right? Maybe that can mean the capture page isn't related to what the sales presentation is talking about, right? Or maybe that can mean something that I did in my video in the sales pre presentation. Or maybe there's not enough content on my sales presentation, but at least I know from this data of a thousand leads and zero sales, I know that where the problem is in my business and what I need to tweak. So once I tweak that sales page, I should see an increase in sales, right? And that's all business is, is you gotta understand the difference between feedback, you know? And I always say one thing about me, after two to three months, once I made my first sale, I knew I was never gonna quit, right? I didn't quit, obviously, but I'm just saying, once I made my first sale, once I made my first commission ever, right? In Motor Club of America, I made that $80 commission, right? I knew I would never give up on the business. Here's why. Because once I get one $80, $80 sale, I know that I can get two. I know that I can get four. I know that I can get eight. I know I can get 16. I know I can get 32. I know I can get 64, right? I know I can get 128 sales, right? I just had that mindset because I always believed that a small result, a small result is representative of a big possible result in your business. I'm going to say it again. A small result that you get in your business is representative of a big possible result, right? How does a person go from zero to a million dollars? Well, obviously they had to make a hundred dollars first, right? <laughs> you, you don't get to just a million dollars to get a million dollars. You got to make something first before you hit the million dollars, right? Or whatever the, the big income goal you're trying to go to. So you got to understand that even a small result is representative of what's possible for you. Even if you get one lead, if you got a lead, that's possible for you to get a sale. If you got a sale, it's possible for you to get 100 sales, 1,000 sales. Whatever it is you want to do, you can do in this life and create for yourself, but you got to understand that. And failure is not failure until you've accepted that something won't work for you, until you've accepted that you're not good enough. But I believe in you. I believe you're good enough. I believe you want to invest in your education. I believe you do have good intentions for the world and for other people, and you do want to help them succeed as well as yourself. And that's what this business is all about. But... If you're giving up too early and you're quitting too fast, you really have no business building a team. You have no business building a team. And the reason why you have no business building a team is because if you're supposed to be a leader of that team, how are you going to be somebody that they look up to if you're giving up, right? That doesn't even make any sense. So you have to realize the type of business that you're in and the longevity. You have to have a long Jevity viewpoint on your business. Don't have a tomorrow viewpoint or the end of the day viewpoint. People have this viewpoint where it's like, oh, if I don't make a sale in two days, something's wrong with me. Oh my God, I'm a failure. I didn't make a sale in two days. <laughs> Relax. Calm down. Relax. Keep going in your business. Get some more data. Get some more feedback. Go through some temporary defeat. Go through some stuff. Go through some stuff. Go through some stuff before you quit on yourself. Right? And I always teach that to people. There's nothing wrong with you. Right? There's nothing wrong with you and no business works. I, I think us understanding that there's nothing wrong with you and no business works, it's a level playing field for all of us to succeed. Now we know that, all right, now we got to do something. We got to put some work in. We got to put some hustle in, put some muscle in, and then we'll get a result. We'll get some sales. So I hope that this is making sense to you so far, but I wanted to really touch on failure. And because until you understand what failure truly is, you'll never get to success. A lot of times I look at my business and I say, look, it's because of the temporary defeat that I went through. It's because of the failure that I went through that I learned some stuff that allowed me su to succeed. A lot of people think they're just supposed to just get into something and just automatically succeed. It doesn't really work like that. The way business and life works, any business in life, you know, any business that you're trying to do is at first, you, you're gonna have to fail forward, right? Through your failure, you, you, you learn from your mistakes, right? You learn. So, okay, if I messed up this time, I'm not gonna do it that way next time. So next time when I tweak something, I should get better results, right? It's just trial and error, trial and error. So what I want you to know is that there's nothing wrong with you. You can succeed. You can be successful. You can make six figures a year in your business. You can grow a large team. You can inspire the world. You can impact people in the world. You can inspire your family. You can do all that good stuff that you want to do, whatever your dreams are. 
You could lay out on the beach, look at your phone, earn commissions, earn money to your PayPal just like I do, right? I just love being out and earning commissions when I'm having fun with my friends out and about and stuff like that. And the same is possible for you, right? And of course, I always say, be willing to invest and learn, get some knowledge from a mentor, somebody who's been through the failure, somebody who's experienced defeat, somebody who can tell you, look, you're good enough. You just gotta keep going. Look, you're good enough. This is just a temporary defeat. Look, you're good enough. This is just data or feedback, right? All business is gonna give you when you're new is gonna give you data, right? But in order to get some data, you gotta get, you know, you gotta get your you gotta get your feet wet a little bit to get some data. And once you get that data, now you can know the adjustments or the corrections you need to make in your business, right? And then once you start getting your leads and sales, I always teach people to focus on getting two sales a day, right? At least two sales per day at first. When you first start off, Focus, focus only on generating two sales a day in your business. For a lot of people, two sales a day will change their life, will change their income, change everything. So that's what I teach inside my training system is how to get two sales a day. We focus on traffic. I focus on conversions. I focus on lead generation. We focus on talk about email marketing. We focus on mindset stuff. We focus on targeting the right audience. All of this nitty gritty stuff that comes together and creates a successful business for you. So I hope that this training makes sense, guys. Like I said, get used to seeing my face. Get used to seeing my face. If you don't like it, great. If you love it, even better, guys. My name is Jonathan Belcher. If you wanna get the training, the link is below in the description. You can get that if you want. I will see you guys at the top. Remember to fail forward. Know the difference between temporary defeat and failure, right? Know that temporary defeat is not failure. It's just some information from that temporary defeat you're gonna get that's gonna allow you to adjust and get better. I will see you guys at the top. This is John Belcher. Peace.